Hi, I'm Jacqueline Brinksmeyer with the Greater Medina Chamber of Commerce, and this is Business as Usual with the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel. And today we are at Avalon RV, and my guest is Scott Miller. Scott, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. So first, tell us a little bit about yourself and your role at Avalon. Um, I'm the president of Avalon RV Center. Um, I've been here 21 years. Okay. We are family owned and operated. Um, a lot of the people have been here 20, 30, Awesome. Plus years. Mm -hmm. um, our general manager's actually been here 35 years. It was a job he had in high school, so he's oh, he's, he's been here. You don't hear that so often anymore. So yeah, that's great. So, yeah, a lot of the same people. And well, and that's one of my questions. Like Avalon has a pretty long history. Yeah. Um, actually, opened up in 1968 in Canal Fulton, okay. Ohio. We're a huge Airstream dealer. Oh. Actually, one of the biggest in the country. How cute are those things? Yeah, they're, and they're still made the same as they were back then. So. That's awesome. Um, and then we moved up to the Medina location um, in 1984. Okay, and do you have multiple locations now? Uh, we have a little satellite store, we like to call it, down in Ontario, okay. Ohio, down by Mansfield, Ohio. Okay, so people can pop in there for smaller needs, but this yeah, is the a, main campus. Yeah, there's $25 million worth of inventory sitting here, okay. roughly, usually. Okay. Um, and two or 300 units, and down there you've got... 20 to 30 units down there usually is all. Still serviceable. Yeah, so that's absolutely. good. Yep. Well, and that's one of the things I was going to ask you about. I see new, I see used, I see extra items. Tell me a bit about what you sell here. Um, well, we carry about everything. We carry um, Class A motorhomes, Class C motorhomes, Class B motorhomes. What do the classes mean? Um, class A is a big, almost looks like a bus. Okay. Um, those are the rock stars. The rock stars, yeah. yeah. We don't carry a ton of those anymore. Okay. Um, Class C's are the one with a bunk above the, the, uh, oh, the cab. The cab. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're built on like a truck chassis. Mm -hmm. um, and then the B vans are more like a conversion van. If, okay. if you remember what conversion vans were all about, but they Absolutely. still, you know, they're still fully, you know, uh, bathroom, uh, kitchen, um, you know, AC, heat, they're you know, self-contained. So, mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. What would you say is your biggest area of sales focus? That would definitely be what we're in right now, bunkhouse. Uh, bunkhouse travel trailers. That's what so family friendly, them. right? Yeah, exactly. People get started out, they you know, kids, they need bunk beds and right. so this is our bread and butter. I mean and it has everything you could possibly want. It's like your home away from home. It's it's Correct. that pretend style camping. Correct. Yeah, it's a little different than tent camping that Correct. we all started out with, <laughs> yes. um, sleeping on the ground and waking up wet in yeah. the morning. So. Well, and that's what I was going to say. Um, I grew up in a camping family, and we had to pay our dues with, with the tent first. But yeah. nowadays, if you just want to begin, how, how would a beginner start with camping? Um, well, I mean, I think a lot of them still do. They start out with tents, mm -hmm. and, and then, then they have a couple uh, episodes where they think, you know, maybe we should buy an RV. When that rain comes? Uh, yeah, they <laughs> usually start off with a small RV. Yeah. Find out it wasn't quite big enough to, mm -hmm. you know, fill what they were exactly looking for. Um, it, it, it's, it's a step. They get into a bigger trailer then. They have kids. Um, kids move out. They get rid of the bunk beds. They buy something that's more for them, for yep. mom and pa. Um, mm -hmm. Then a lot of times they get into motorized they get tired of towing stuff, something around. They like to be able to just hop in it and take off, and they've got all their stuff in it. Yes. Yeah, um, and then it usually reverts back the other way. They, they, <laughs> Once the grandkids start coming yeah, with them. Yeah. Then they get, sometimes they get back into something else with bunk beds because yep. grandkids are coming. And and uh, then as as people get older, a lot of them they they're not comfortable driving the bigger motorhomes, sure. so they get into the B vans, which are the you only know, you can park them in a parking spot. You can run to the grocery store, yet you can still sleep right? in them. And, and, so great uh, for flexibility. Yeah. Very much okay. so. Very much so. Walk me through, what's the sales process for, like if I'm coming in here, what am I, where do I even start? Um, what's my experience? Well, most people are on the website long before they come in the, st okay. in the store. So they reach out to us through emails. Um, they text us, um, that's very common and getting a whole lot more popular. Mm -hmm. um, so there's usually a lot of conversations going back and forth through, through the internet. Mm -hmm. um, and then they come in, they know exactly what they're looking for. They've been you know, communicating with the sales representative. Mm -hmm. And um, it's pretty simple. Usually when they come in, they buy the RV. So yeah, yeah, yeah. decision has already been made yeah, basically. Yeah, pretty yeah. much so. Yep. But you welcome people to come in, walk through, oh, touch, feel. Yeah, absolutely. Like yeah, and you, and you have that segment of buyer too that they, they, they have no idea what it's all about. Right. right. So they need to learn the lifestyle and learn what it's all about. See, you know, what they can tow if they have a truck or what they're gonna need. And mm -hmm. and uh, that's one thing about having a really experienced sales staff is our guys and gals have done it for so many years. They really, you know, they, they ask the questions of the 
consumer mm -hmm. to really narrow down what, what would best fit their needs. What's going to work. Correct. Yeah. Yep. So they're not in anything over their heads for sure. You don't want to see that happen. Correct. We would never let that happen. So I know during COVID, um, RVs, boats, all of those things, they were hard to get a hold of. Yeah. Did you experience that? Oh, yeah. Are we still experiencing um, that? Yeah, we definitely experienced it. I mm -hmm. mean, last year was uh, very difficult. The year before was pretty difficult mm -hmm. because the demand went through the roof. Um, and since then, though, yeah, but we saw last September, October, it started coming back to some normalcy. And, That's good. And now we're back to where we were 2017, 2018, 2019. Mm -hmm. um, they were all, you know, really good years in the RV business. And mm -hmm. it's back to just really good business still, but not... Which, which is kind of a blessing. It's not too much um, because, you know, the biggest thing is you want to be able to take care of the buyer. Absolutely. When you're overrun with business, you know, that can be a bad thing too. There's so. an absolute balance yeah. to it. But I'll tell you from a chamber perspective, we love to hear when things are starting to normalize yeah, on the commerce sure. side of things. And, for sure. And like you said, uh, for the buyer, you don't want them to be right. months and months out from a new RV once e they exactly. are excited about exactly. it. So totally get it. Um, so I had talked to Scott earlier because I was all excited to hear what his best camping trip ever was. But but tell tell me, what is your biggest use for your RV fun? Um, the Cleveland Browns. Cleveland Browns. There you go. Got to go yes. to the Browns games. Gotta tailgating. Go. There's, a, there's a reason for everything, yep. right? Yep. I love that. It's not, my tailgating is not sitting out in the 30 degree weather. It's like coming inside. And it's the work smarter, right. not harder. Right, pre-gaming in, in, uh, inside the <laughs> RV, exactly. I love it. What else would you like our viewing public to know? Um, you know, I... I guess the big thing is, you know, you, you can buy your RV anywhere. Mm -hmm. um, I, I know we uh, we have a rock bottom pricing scheme where we, you know, every buyer pays the same price on, for the same unit. That's great. So somebody can come in in the morning, if they pass on that RV, um, somebody comes in four hours later, they're told the exact same price. So so that's a big part of it. We want sure. to give uh, honesty, integrity. Yeah, all and, of we, that. and we want people to pay a fair price. Sure. Right. Every, everybody needs to feel good about it. But the mm -hmm. biggest thing is. It's what happens after that. And uh, we have a fantastic service department with uh, just a lot of great employees. And tons of experience in that uh, service department. Lot, yeah, I mean, techs that have been here 20 years mm -hmm. plus um, that know how to fix them and are, are up to date with the changes in, in the RVs. But yeah. that's the biggest thing. Because mm -hmm. like I said, you can bar buy an RV anywhere, um, but you know, it's a house on wheels and it, and it will have problems. It will break. And Absolutely. you're going to need somebody that can take care, of, uh, take care of the repairs. We're a member of something called Priority RV. Okay. Um, that's huge because if you do buy um, from Avalon, you have nationwide service. That's uh, crucial. Um, yeah. So if I'm traveling, Correct. something goes you, wrong, I'm not like... You can go to any other Priority RV okay. dealer. They're also all family-owned RV dealerships, which we is awesome. Yeah. So you get that, you know, hopefully that at-home feel. And, mm -hmm. and uh, when your AC unit goes out in Arizona... <laughs> not and, uh, ideal. <laughs> and not ideal. Um, and you go to a dealership and they say, well, we can't work on it for a few weeks. That's a problem. You go to a Priority RV dealership and they'll get you in right away. Perfect. So. And also touch on here, um, people that are already into RVs, you have other uh, parts and accessories that you sell here, yeah, correct? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Um, yeah, we have a big accessory, uh, like parts a and accessory area. store. Yeah. If we don't have it in stock, we can get it usually within 24 hours. So where are we located and how does somebody get a hold of you? Um, we are located on St State Route 18, mm -hmm. um, also known as Medina Road. We're about halfway between I-77 and I-71. Very convenient. Um, very convenient. And the uh, easiest way to get a hold of us is uh, phone number is 1-800-860-7728 or avalonrvcenter.com. Perfect. And I think you're on all the socials, too. Yeah, we're so. on all kinds of social media. Yeah. Well, we really appreciate your time today and being able to like hang out in these thank gorgeous you. spots. Um, and we wish you nothing but the best. And again, thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Thanks. Armstrong is proud to partner with the Greater Medina Chamber of Commerce to produce the Business as Usual series. As a dedicated member of the Greater Medina Chamber of Commerce, Armstrong supports local businesses while promoting the Chamber and its mission to prospective members. Watch Armstrong Neighborhood Channel on Channel 100 or visit Armstrong Neighborhood Channel on YouTube for all the latest episodes.